Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate all of your support. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is being returned to you immediately and permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on. Oh, oh. We have the chariot. I always get really oh, I already always get really happy when the chariot shows up in a reading because it's the saying that someone is either taking charge of their life or there's some type of action being taken to correct something. This is a victory. Um, so the fact that victory is coming in for you means that someone else is experiencing some type of ending. Uh, so someone may have been taking some type of action to end uh, the dead something for you, but it's not happening. Your victory is absolutely coming in. So you're going through some type of rebirth. If anything was stolen from you, taken from you, prevented, blocked, it's all being corrected. It's being returned to you. Someone may have taken some type of action, right, to interfere with your work, something of that nature. Um, if someone was coming towards you to bring balance into a situation, they were being blocked by some type of dem demonic entity that's in human form. This could be a feminine energy that's interfering with something being corrected, right? Someone also know that you're not going to be accepting any bribery. Um, it's like something happened, and instead of people wanting to do the right thing, they want to come in and bribe you. And they know that you're not going to be accepting any type of bribery. Someone may want to pay you as well so you can join some type of coat or clothing. You can work with some type of dark energy. Is that someone wants you to go from being this to this? But they're going to come, they were supposed to come in with some type of money, but they know you're not going to be accepting any type of money to participate in something like that because this is the energy you're meant to be in. Uh, someone wants to change you. Part of the reason why we have this death car out here, they want to change you, want to change something about you. Is that, oh, this person is very gifted, or this person is very intuitive, we already like this. Uh, you know, energy or whatever they have, something about you, they know it's beneficial for them, but they don't want you using it in the upright. They want you using it in a negative way. And it's not going to happen. They know that you are not someone that can be bribed. Uh, it's like someone knows, either someone is studying you or something of that nature, and they know that you're not someone that, can, that accepts bribery. You're not easily fooled, tricked. You're not going to set, settle for that, okay? And they also know for some of you that they cannot come in and shorthand you. So whatever was due to you is what they are going to have to give you. So they can't come in. Let's say if you had like a million dollars that was due to you, they can't come in and say, hey, we have a $50,000 check for you. We know you're going through some hard times. We thought we, we, thought we could uh, give you this check to kind of mend things. But the whole time, there's a bigger blessing that's meant for you and they're tr trying to hold on to it. So just be mindful. Okay. This is a lot of energy. Why am I not listening? You all know I always struggle with shuffling my cars. It's embarrassing at this time, but I think we're going to make this a part of this channel from now on that the reader on this channel does not know how to shuffle her car. She's always struggling with it. It is what it is. Anyways, you may have taken some type of action in the past to take a hold of your life as well so that you could move forward Put an end to some type of old identity that you were stuck with. It's that either you were afraid of stepping outside of the box and you decided to do that by the guidance of your ancestors. So you're stepping into a brand new life, a brand new energy. Yes, you're going to be still a star C in the upright, but now you're taking charge of your life. So you know when to put your foot down, when to be, you know, a little bit lenient and things like that, right? Uh, someone was wanting to have victory over you. There's some, some type of COVID, some type of couple that was absolutely set on having some type of victory over you. This could have been a queen of pentacles because for a while, this queen of pentacles, this greedy queen of pentacles has been showing up in my readings. So someone expected to have some type of victory over you, but they're, they are being left out in the cold. And this is not something they were accepting. Someone is absolutely upset that... Uh -oh. Look, 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 look at this nonsense. 
someone is upset that things are going in your favor. Is that oh, everything I did in the in the background didn't work. She's still defeating me. He's still defeating me. What in the world? And they are absolutely upset. Someone had a lot of ulterior motives behind the scenes and they didn't tell people what all they were a part of, right? Meanwhile, you're out here being genuine. Someone painted you out to be cold-hearted, but you're someone genuine. They may want to come back towards you to reestablish some type of friendship with you for some of you. And that's not something that you should be partaking in. I'm not saying hold on to any grudge. You know my platform, I'm not going to read. I'm not going to promote that. I always um, advocate for people to forgive and move on. But certain energies, especially if they're showing up in this, you don't need to reconnect with those types of energies because they always have ulterior motives. Okay? Someone trapped themselves in something where they thought they were going to have some type of victory over you okay it's like they thought they were being logical they were doing the right thing even if it wasn't the right thing they thought they had a good plan basically uh only for them to be left out in the cold and losing everything they want to re-establish a friendship with you uh, extend some type of olive branch of a friendship towards you but they cannot because you are moving on with your life, right? So someone from the past, whether it's a friend, an ex-lover, something of that nature, they may want to come towards you because they know you have some type of abundance. Your life is about to be in like a very beautiful state where you'll be living the best life, living successfully. You're manifesting some type of new reality for yourself. And this person wants to be a part of it. Uh, so the thing you and them being friends again is going to bring balance into this situation and then it's going to attach them to you so there is some type of ulterior motive to what this person is doing uh source wants you to keep focusing on manifesting your new reality this could be a king of swords that's doing this there's a king of swords that showed up in my previous reading that has some type of ulterior motive for coming towards someone and he's showing up here again Someone may have paid this person in the past to participate in something that they shouldn't have. Uh, this could be like a leader of a community. This could be like a manager or um, a business owner or someone in law enforcement. But someone paid this masculine in the past to participate in something. You may have had some type of good relationship with this person. You probably probably didn't even know they were involved in law enforcement and things of that nature. Or you, maybe you didn't even know they were sent to investigate something and you extended some type of friendship to them um, and they betray you. However, this person, there's something that they are going through. It may have to do with the ending or just being humble. Or maybe they are the one taking action to bring balance into a situation that they know they really effed up in um, based on the actions that they took against you. But just be mindful, please. Yeah, this is someone that wants to have success with you. Someone has been waiting for the right time, um, you know, to kind of bring things to your attention to come to worship, but it looks like they are in action right now. They're in, they're taking some type of action to come to worship you, right? Um, they have been waiting for a while or there was some type of hindrance. It's like they would take action to come to worship, but there was some type of blockage and then they would have to wait again to try again to get a hold of you. There's some type of interference that has been going on behind the scenes. Someone wants to be successful. Uh, I keep getting the notion that there's someone that wants to be successful or have a lot of power in life. So if they are aware, for some of you, if they are aware that you have some type of gift, they may want to partner up with you to get you to misuse those gifts. And you know, that's one of the easiest ways for a source to strip us of our abilities when you start misusing it. So just be mindful. I'm telling you, someone, he more than likely know he cannot come. Like he's cutting his loss. Someone may be reminiscing like, oh my gosh, I missed out on a big opportunity. I missed out on the actual opportunity is what I'm hearing. So that means that this person was tricked into something that's unholy. Someone trapped themselves, right? He lost a lot of finances. He lost a connection, a true and pure connection with someone. Um, this may have been like his last chance to have some type of true connection with someone, right? And he wants to reconnect with you, but there's something going on. He's experiencing some type of ending where it's preventing him. And this person could be walking around trying to stay, you know, collect, look like he's still put together. Nothing is going on behind the scenes, things of that nature. But this person's world is upside down. They're going through some type of death. 
and it's not a literal death, but they are experiencing some type of ending, right? Um, it can be in finances. Someone has lost a lot of money, a lot of money, and they didn't expect it to go this way. Yeah. With this King of Swords out here and this King of uh, Seven of Wands, there could be some legalities going on or this person is part of the legal system, something like that. Someone may just have some type of connection with a higher up in the legal system that they misused for some of you to block your forward movement. Someone trying to get you left out in the cold, causing you hindrances. Someone has been misusing their connection or their access. Is that someone, some of you, someone may have like a, some type of security clearance where it's like they just need your phone number and they can access anything they want or they just need your name and your number or your social and they can access whatever they want. But this person, for some of you, they had no need to access your information in the way that they've been doing it. And there could be a legal case going on. It's different for all of you. For someone, I'm hearing that someone stole some type of mail that you were supposed to receive. There could be a court case that's coming out of that. It's a whole lot going on. In this year, 2024, it, it has just been really chaotic. It's like people are doing a lot to steal abundances, like inheritance is. People are doing a lot of underhanded move, forging documents and things like that. And it's just like, oh my goodness, what is up with these karmics? But like, calm down. Calm down. It's not that serious. And all of these things that they take all these actions for, you can't take it with you in the afterlife. Matter of fact, you're binding yourself to something that's going to take a while for you to recover from. Uh-huh. Yeah, he collaborated. There could have been a meeting about you. And my last reading I did on this channel, the one before this one, there was a meeting being held. Either this meeting was held yesterday, Saturday, uh, was it March the 16th or March the 17th? I think it was the 17th. There was a meeting held about someone, right? And it had to do with bringing balance into a situation. But the people having this meeting were still considering bribing someone or cheating someone out of their abundance, right? So there is a legal case going on. Something is being looked over. There is absolutely an investigation going on. Someone is being asked a lot of questions like, why did you do this? For some of you who this is a police officer or FBI or CIA, they are being asked that why did they scoop to this level? Why did they participate in this? Or for someone who has some type of connection in the justice system, they are being exposed as well. But someone is absolutely being investigated for something they did and they thought people would never find out. They've been walking around with some type of mask on pretending to be something or uh, pretending like everything is okay and it's not okay. This person has some type of case going on behind the scenes that they're not telling people about. Someone could end up going to jail, losing a lot, losing a house, losing a car. There's some type of inheritance that was blocked from who it actually belongs to, okay? Something I've realized, you all, when I wake up in the morning, that is not the time for me to record a video. It's like my personality is not alive. She's still asleep and I sound and feel so droggy and stuff like that. And it's just like, oh, these cars are not making sense. My intuition is not awake. So I cannot, I will not be recording videos in the morning. I'll still be posting as often as I usually do, but I just know not to record anything early in the morning because my higher self is just, for a lack of a better expression, she is just not awake. She's probably like in, still out somewhere wandering, traveling the world. And my wish is literally kind of impossible because you cannot wake up without your soul. But I'm just saying like the mental aspect of her is probably somewhere else. Like, oh, I have to return to earth. I don't want to. Meanwhile, my physical body is up trying to get things together and things are not making sense. And I'm trying to do a reading and it's just like, oh my gosh, honey, nothing makes sense. What's going on? Like, come back in, soul. Come back. <laughs> but I've realized that if I do my readings a little later during the day, I'm okay. Like, my, my vibe is there. Everything is there. I get my messages just fine. Um, most of the time when I wake up early in the morning, I'm trying to like decipher my dreams. Like, hey, what does this mean? 
If I don't understand something, then I'll let my soul guides know that I don't understand what you showed me. I need some type of clearance um, before I can speak about it or before I can even consider what you what you just showed me. Absolutely. There's a meeting going on because the truth has been shown about some type of dark entity, dark couple, dark coven, whatever it is. They are exposed for who they are. People are seeing the truth. People know what actions they took behind the scenes to block some type of forward movement or some type of union, some, something, right? They may have interfered with a friendship. Someone left a friendship out in the cold. It's just like, it's a whole lot coming out that people didn't expect. It's like, how do they know we did this? How did they know we did that? What is going on? This person is not human. There is no reason that you know that we did the things that we did. But you know the truth about them right you know the collaboration that they put together just to take you all down you may not be seeing anything uh for some of you but they know that you know and people are afraid for being exposed on a broader sense it may be like this is a small community um and people within this community know what happened but they don't want it getting outside of this community so this is probably possibly why they're trying their best to do the right thing right thing or to fix this situation because it's not going to go in their favor in court there are a lot of questions going on it says something is not adding up now we see something is not adding up and we need you to give us explanations we need answers we need details people's stories are changing right because these types of people they will meet together so that they're all on the same page for the story they're going to tell the legal system or whoever is asking questions but these people are at a point where they cannot keep their stories together there's a lot of mixed match and things like they say hey you last time you told us you were at the grocery store when this was going on or you were at grandma's house house but now you're telling us you were asleep make it make sense or you were at work what's going on here so now they're facing some type these people are facing challenges and things now right they're facing challenges they did not expect to be facing these are all challenges they intended for you but because things are being exposed they cannot hide it anymore it's like out in broad daylight broad daylight they can't hide it anymore and this was how source intended for this to go you know the thing with some dark energies dark workers as we call them it's like when we are in human form there's some type of delusional mindset we tend to adopt or adapt when we get a little bit of power or influence where we automatically start thinking we are invincible and we can do whatever we want we may see someone that's easily that's like usually by themselves so we think we can just go and cause havoc in their lives like we just and this is human nature except some of us we have control over the nature of ourselves but some people they don't we just automatically feel like we are invincible we're not going to get cut for what we're doing and even if we get cut for what we're doing because we're connected to people in high places we are going to be okay we'll get away with it these people are not getting away with it and they're realizing that they say it doesn't matter how much money they have who they're connected to someone some people whoever these are they are experiencing some type of uh, of ending that they didn't expect expect they may be falling apart fighting against one another going up against one another because their stories are not adding up it's almost like hey we're supposed to meet uh, 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 uh we were supposed to meet yesterday but you didn't make the meeting and someone is said oh you know i you know, had to take my kid to a doctor's appointment. Oh, you know, I had to go get my hair done. Oh, I had a date. It's that like these people now, they're having a hard time making these meetings. So they're not able to keep their stories together anymore. Stay on the same, same page. People are absolutely overindulged. And they expected for their wishes to be fulfilled and things like that, for things to go in their favor. Someone here or these people, this group, they are absolutely greedy, overindulged in things that they should not be overindulging in. And they expected to have victory, but their wishes are not coming true, right? Because the truth, these people are exposed. They're being seen for who they are. They said, wow, you were part of this? You were part of this? chai i've seen it all 
This is what's going on. It's like they had a plan. They were very logical with the things they were doing. And they thought they did not stand a chance to lose. But something has been exposed. I'm telling you, you see how the light, the sunlight is getting brighter. They are exposed. Something has been illuminated. They can't hide anymore. They cannot live in the dark anymore with their secrets. It's all exposed. And they thought they were going to get some type of financial payout, get something that belongs to someone else, or keep up this false narrative about a situation and it's just not happening the fact that the truth has been exposed is a challenge these people are facing they can't hide anymore right some of these people are realizing that you were someone that was beneficial to have on a team to partner up with for some of you but like, they're like wow man we should have partnered up with him we should have partnered up with her right here it is, I'm losing everything and all I had to do was just stay by this person or support this person. For some of you, there's someone in here or even this group that failed a test miserably. They, they didn't realize they were being tested. Someone like this, they're like a stranger to you. You extend a genuine, genuine friendship to them. And then this cult or this coven, this toxic couple that purchased them and gives them money to betray you. And instead of them turning the money down and asking questions or even asking you what's going on, they don't do that. They go and betray you, but they don't realize by betraying you a stranger that they barely know, lying on you and things like that is proving to this couple or this COVID that you're not someone loyal. Because if you can lie on a stranger, what are you going to do to someone close to you, right? So that's how they're seeing that like, this person is not loyal. For some of you, this is someone you are familiar with. A past person, either a lover, family members, friends, someone you were very close to, they betray you, and they didn't realize that they were being tested as well by the divine and even this COVID. Because let's say it's a lover and you've been in a relationship with them for however long, um, and this cult or couple, whoever it is, approaches them and it's like, hey, we'll pay you this much if you co corroborate our story and say that this person. Uh, it's mentally unstable. They're into devil worship and things like that. Um, so they show him some type of check. Maybe it's $40,000 or something. And say, hey, after everything, we'll give you this money. And they go along with it. They actually partner up with this this uh, COVID code couple, whatever it is, only to find out that they were being tested. Is that how loyal can you be if you betray someone that you say you loved, Right. So someone didn't know they were being tested and they feel miserably or a group of people didn't realize that they were being tested and they feel miserably. A lot of the times these tests are coming from the most high. It's that God will put this type of energy in your life to see how you're going to treat them. And they'll bring like situations, they'll bring you a curse situations to see how you're going to treat that person or how you're going to handle that situation. Are you going to do the right thing? And this is God trying to see if you are someone that's trustworthy or if you are someone that has grown. Um, and then if they see that you are someone that has grown, then they'll say, well, you're worthy to be in this person's life to benefit off of them because we know you're not going to take advantage of them. You're going to be genuinely kind. And being kind to these kind of people is beneficial to you because, you know, what you give to them, you'll usually give back three times full, ten times full. Um, but if you do the opposite where you try to, you know, destroy these types of energy, then it's not really a beautiful thing. And there's always balance brought into these situations. The universe, people think everything is just, ha ah, 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 there's no like a, a logic. The universe is a logical being. It is alive. It operates on morals and principle. It is very logical. It is about balance. So it doesn't matter how minuscule something is. If it's wrong, the universe has to bring that in balance. And it doesn't matter if it's in this lifetime or, or the next lifetime. It is absolutely going to be brought back into balance. And whether you are the one having to pay the karma or, your, or the next generation in your family, that karma is going to be paid because it has to be paid in order for uh, balance to be, to be brought into the situation. The universe is very big on balance. Nothing, no stone is left unturned, okay? Because you have to learn that lesson. That, that is how we ascend. 
by going through all of these different lessons, right? <clears throat> by learning from our karma. And something is only karma if you fail at it the first time. So like, like a test, right? If you take a test the first time and you fail, you have to go and study for that test again to take it, right? Like the SAT, if you fail it, obviously you have to go back and study for that SAT so you can take it again. That is kind of how karma works. It's not just going to be, oh, I feel it. it. It is what it is. If you feel a gray, you have to take that gray over. That's how the universe works. They're not just going to pretend like, oh, well, he's failed this gray. It's okay. Well, maybe he'll do better in this gray. No, you have to repeat that gray. And you have to pass it in order to be able to move forward. It's absolutely of a balance. Not overindulging in certain things. Yeah. Someone overindulged in working against you. People were working really hard. They expected to have some type of uh, reward from either blocking your work, interfering with your work, your, 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 your uh, what is it, uh, uh, your stability. People were interfering with that. It's like they wanted you unstable, not having any source of income. They want you in this state of being, but you're here. So they were interfering with your stability. They don't want you being able to pay your bills. They don't want you feeling happy. They don't want you going out into nature or something like whatever you do for a pastime or recreation that brings you into balance or makes you happy. People didn't want you doing that because they know if they interfere with your money, then you don't have any way to do those things. Uh, so then you're living in this state where you're in deplority and things like that instead of having time to focus on your work, focus on your uh, commitments and things like that, taking care of your family, staying genuine. It's like they wanted to get you out of this energy. It's like, we don't, we don't want people to see that you are a genuine person. We don't want people to see that you are true. You're telling the truth. So we're going to keep effing with you behind the scenes until you get out of character. And they kept doing it and doing it and doing it, but nothing. You stay in this energy. You stay in this energy and you're still telling people, I'm not settling. I'm not accepting any type of bribery from anyone. I'm not set, accepting less than what I deserve. But you're not being rude about it as well. Some of you, maybe some of you are a little bit mouthy like myself here. But you're not being disrespectful. You're just standing up for yourself. But people like this, they don't see it as you standing up for yourself. They see it as you being a narcissist or you have too much ego or you uh, 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 don't know how to stay in your place. You're not humble, things like that. I told you guys in my last video, I had someone that was trying to humble me, reminding me that I was this. And I had to thank them because they said, well, thank you. Because, you know, I'm so busy in life, busy working, doing YouTube, studying, taking care of kids. I do forget to appreciate this about myself, right? This is a badge of honor because we know this community has come a long way. Absolutely a long way, whether whether you're from the U.S., whether you're from Africa, whether you're from uh, uh, some type of European country, whatever it is, everywhere you go, this community has been through a lot. So it is absolutely a badge of honor to be this. So you're not it, it, you're not going to make me feel bad about being that. So if you thought bringing that to my attention to make me feel like I'm not going to belong in some type of a uh, social class that the universe is going to put me in, you are absolutely forsaken, mistaken about that. I don't. I don't feel bad about it. The universe is going to put me where I belong, and absolutely, I'm going to feel like I'm where I, be I belong. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But uh, collective, people wanted to get you out of this energy. They don't want you focused on your path, on your work, on your passion. The Eight of Pentacles is someone who is committed to what they are doing. They're passionate about that. This is someone that knows what they want to do. This is not an apprentice. You can consider the Page of Pentacles an apprentice. They are a student, right? They're still learning. But if you've made it here, you are a master of your craft. You know what's going on. You know what to do. You don't need assistance with what to do. No one needs to teach you the ins and outs of your job or your passion, your creativity, your work, whatever it is. At the Eight of Pentacles, you're a master, okay? And someone wanted to get you out of this energy. They want you to seem that like you don't know what you're doing. And it's not true. Don't let anyone make you feel less than. People make people try to make you feel less than because 
they feel that way. And whoever this is, is going through karma. They're going through karma. Whereas they wanted you in this energy, in this energy, they're the ones going through it. And this is someone from your past. I'm telling you, this is someone from your past that's experiencing some type of ending and it's well-deserved. You all know the Ten of Swords is my karma card. It's my taste of your own medicine. Someone accept their advice from the wrong person. Someone pretending to be righteous. Someone pretending to be uh, uh, up in the right, in the upright, <laughs> but they were not. Someone accepted advice from the wrong person and it has landed them here. You know, is that help, I've fallen and I can't get up. You won't be getting up anytime soon. Someone may have lost their job. So they wanted you to lose your job, but they ended up losing their job. It's a dunder for them. For some of you, people are calling your bosses at new companies to fire you, and the bosses are like, wait, hold on. Why would we be firing this person again? Like, we asked for this person. They do their job. They're, like, beneficial to have. Why would we be firing them? And someone does not have an explanation. It's just because of the fact that they don't like you. Because you're someone that's outside of the box. You're wiser than them. They're bothered by your light. The light within you bothers the demon within them. So they think everyone is going to jump on the bandwagon, right? To just cause mayhem, right? This is someone working from behind the scenes. They don't they don't like to show their hand. They'll throw rocks and hide their hand. This is someone with a mask on. They're doing things from behind the scenes. Just so things can go in their favor. They want everyone to see you as this, your death. Nothing holy about you. All you come with is destruction. But people are seeing the truth. They're like, you are a freaking liar. You're intimidated by this person. You're bothered. Some of you could have gifts and this person does not have it. And they're bothered by that. This could be someone that has been pretending to be gifted for a long time. They don't have a lick of gift in them activated. Because we all have these gifts in us. But it's natural for some of us. And it's activated in some of us. And it's not, they are not activated in other people because of the energy that they carry about themselves these will be dangerous gifts to give them you see we have dark practitioners that misuse these gifts and what happens to them swords will end up stripping them of these abilities because they're misusing it someone should not be able to pay you any amount of money for you to look into another person's life they haven't given you permission to look in their lives that is a violation of universal law that has to do with free will someone did not exercise their right their free will and tell you hey maria i want you to look into my life what can i expect they didn't tell you to do that don't do it that's a violation of their rights their free will right but someone is going through an ending someone they expected to get some type of financial payout, some type of material fulfillment out of working against you, blocking your work, doing something like that. And lo and behold, they're losing their job. And now they won't have finances to pay and bribe people behind the scenes. They can no longer bribe a coven, a group of people, a community, someone. They can't bribe them to betray you anymore. And they're going through an ending. This is divine interference. This is absolutely divine interference. Someone didn't want you accelerating, growing in life. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want you growing in life. They didn't want you receiving some type of offer as well, right? They were interfering with this offer. This is not. This is an offer of commitment, a solid offer. Someone has been interfering with. Someone, all they ha had to do was mind their business. Mind their business. But these types of people don't know how to mind their business. They have to be in other people's business. What is that saying, T.I. Sunset? I stand on business. You're out here standing on spiritual business. And someone else is into corrupt business. And they thought they were going to win. Because they're well connected. Because they had a lot of money. So spirit is humbling them and say, you know what? That job is giving you that money so you can keep causing havoc in other people's lives. We're taking it away. So let's see how you're going to keep causing havoc now. Someone is about to lose everything. Everything. Their house, their connections, their business. 
someone that's being left out in the cold by an institution. There's an institution that's not willing to work with someone anymore because they are a fraud. Someone is very fake. They present themselves to be something that they are not. And they are used to people buying this facade that they give, but it's not being bought anymore. People see them for what they are. For someone, their mental is shaky, shaky, and that's why they end up in this situation because someone came to them and spoke ill of you or bribed them and they accepted the bribery. And now they're going through an ending and living in regret. They said, oh my gosh, all I had to do was just do the right thing. It wasn't that big of a deal. But their ego got a bit, got a, uh, got the best of them. They wanted to be part of something. Wanted to be part of something, but they didn't even understand what they were wanting to be a part of. It looked promising, so they jumped in the boat. Someone has literally jumped out of the hot pot into the fire fired it's a mess all of this energy people are putting into taking other people down can you imagine what they could do in their own lives if they will if they were that committed to upgrading their lives to healing can you imagine the wonders that they could do in their own life if they just focus on their own journey but they've blocked themselves because these are people that don't want to heal. They don't know how to leave other people alone. It's all about, I'm more powerful than you. There's a bigot, bigot in here and they keep popping up in my reading. There's a bigot in here that thinks they're better than someone else because of their social class or something else. I'm telling you, someone is tight on money someone is tight on money they can no longer pay for manipulation so they're holding on to the little bit that they have left and say oh uh-uh someone literally only has enough to pay their bills now and this is the energy they wanted you in they may have put you in this energy but they're getting a taste of their own medicine they're going from being able to give people offers and things like that to i gotta hold on to my money i gotta hold on to my money there's a court case going on. I'm going to have to pay for this. But they're still going to be walking around pretending like they're still wealthy. Because that's what these types of people do. They want people to believe that they're wealthy. Okay. True. Yep. Lord have mercy. Have mercy. That word has been coming up a lot in my readings. Someone is asking for forgiveness. Someone wants you to forgive them for something they did to you. Some of you don't even know what these people did, but they're just asking for forgiveness from a from afar. Yeah, someone knows you know. Someone knows you're watching them or they are watching you. They know that you know, okay? There could have been two people here, a couple, a king of cups and an empress working together. Absolutely. You may have had some type of soul contract with a king of cups or an empress if you are a masculine. Doesn't matter. This could be a same-sex relationship as well. It doesn't matter. But there's someone going through some type of ending, some type of ending and they intended this for you someone's either their wife ex-wife baby mama whatever this is their mother something is being exposed about her you're being seen as the truth someone that's very quick witted someone loyal someone very intelligent this is how you're being seen and this person is having a hard day about this, a hard life. It's like, no, she's not out of those things. He's not out of those things. No, don't believe it. This could be someone that has been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes. Just so people don't see you in the energy that you were supposed to be seen in. They've possibly been telling someone, that person is not loyal. If you go to them, they're going to betray you. 
Meanwhile, someone is said, nope, I'm going to stay under calmer waters. Someone is going to help me heal. I'm going to go heal. You need to go heal. It's a mess. Shit. Someone's on the run. <laughs> Someone is on the run. Where will you go? Let us know. Someone is trying to run away from this situation. Someone is trying to wait, run away. It's like your abundance is protected because there is a, either an official or a group of people that are aware of what happened and they are asking questions and things like that. Someone does not have the answers. So they are on the run. They may be trying to get away from you, from this situation. While you are still in the calmer waters, you're healing. Someone does not know how it is you're healing. Someone is trying to get, get away. They cannot. Like you've taken the time to heal from all of the betrayals these people have caused. You've taken the time to heal from all these narcissists. Because this is what these people are. These are narcissists. Imbalanced people. How do you have this much energy, especially to come together as a group to attack one person? How? And now you want to flee when you have to face the consequences. Do you see here someone is being interrogated and now they're trying to get away? Where are you going to go to? Is that where you bribing people behind the scenes to cause someone a hindrance, to block someone's work, to get someone fired? What? I would never. Really? Okay, well, we have this email from this person that says that you did. We have this text message that shows that you did. You reached out to this person. We have this voice recording that says that you did. So we need explanation. Oop. We need you to come in on the 13th to answer a few questions. My brother. <laughs> He said, it's time to get out of here. She said, it's time to get out of here. I, I, I got to go. I'm going on vacation. I'm going to go to Dubai. No, you're not going to Dubai. You're not going anywhere. You want to go to India? There's nowhere. You're not going anywhere. Some of me want to go to Texas. I keep hearing New York. You're not going on vacation anywhere. You have questions to answer. You have questions to answer. a lot of cards <laughs> oh lord someone thought they had victory they said, yes we've defeated this ridiculous star seed they thought they were more powerful than us and their spirit said oh stop this does not belong to you it's been returned to the owner Excuse you. Which star seed did you say you defeated again? Because it cannot be ours. This story is not over yet. You thought it was over. Mm-hmm. You thought it was over. Someone thought it could stop. Some this has for some of you, this has to do with a love connection. People didn't want you all knowing that you were meant to be. So you may not know who your soul twin is for some of you. They didn't want you two coming together. So they went above and beyond to interfere with this love connection. It's that, hey, these two cannot come together. They'll be too abundant and successful together. So we need you to get on board and support our cause. We stand for what's right. They don't deserve to be together. If we can't be happy, they cannot be happy. Who the F do they think they are? Okay? So they came up with a story. They came up with a narrative. And they went around telling everybody what to say. You could be the masculine they were coming to and telling you all these horrendous things about your female soul twin. You could be the feminine energy that they want around telling you about your male soul twin, whether it's a same-sex relationship, they did the same thing. They said, mm-mm. 
this plan is going to work out. They didn't want you all having this. They did not want you all having a relationship that's of equal give and take where you're pouring into each other. The love is overflowing. People, Some people that are broken on the inside, they are bothered by love, true love. They don't want to see it. They don't want to hear about it. They don't want to feel it. It makes them feel uncomfortable. Say, ugh, what's that feeling? Ugh. I got to go get a bottle. These types of people. Someone made it their personal mission to block this, to interfere with a connection. Someone made it their mission. They were on a call. They had a cause that they were standing up for, and their cause was blocking a union from coming together. Someone does not want you receiving genuine love. Someone does not want you being uh, fulfilled in life in any way, shape, or form. You could be dealing with some type of devil worshiper or devil worshippers. Okay? And this is over. I'm telling you, someone has lost their job. This chaotic chapter is over. For some of you, unfortunately, because your soul twin participated in this, you may be receiving a higher level soulmate because they're not resonating on this. The old one is not resonating on the same frequency as you because they participated in something that they should not have. We should explain why we have this Ace of Cups in the world out here. This opportunity for you two to come together is not happening. But for a lot of you, it's still going to happen. But you two will have to have closure. Someone will have to come clear to you, come, come clean to you, clear things up. Like, hey, this is why this happened. This could be why we have the word out here as well. Someone wants to have closure with you, hoping that you two can seal the karma waters. Say, hey, this is what happened. This is how it's happened. It happened. This is why it happened. I'm sorry. Sometimes that's all people need to do, but their ego gets the best of them. Say, who the heck do you think you are that I have to apologize to you? I'm not apologizing to you. But they still want you to go out with them or they want you to give to them. They say, make it make sense. That math ain't mathing. You don't want to say sorry, but you want me to what? Give to you? Not happening. So this closure may be interfered with because this person does not know how to come off their high throne. Oh, there is someone still stirring on interfering with this connection. They don't want it to start, but it's going to start for some of you. It's still coming into a uh, uh, manifestation. It's still being materialized because this is something that has already happened in the spirit realm. So now it's just going to be happening in the physical. Well, you best believe there is someone behind the scene that is de devastated that this relationship is still happening. I'm telling you, it's still happening. Someone is going for it. Someone is getting over betrayal or some type of disappointment, some type of taste of their own medicine, and they're choosing to go for it. Say, hey, I'm so sorry for what I did to you. I didn't know you were my soul twin. I am so sorry. Will you forgive me? And you got to be mindful of these types of apologies because they can be, you know, shaky, shaky. There's some type of ulterior motives behind it. So you got to be careful. Just because someone is your soul twin, your soul mate does not mean you have to be with them. Especially if they're low vibrational and they participate in toxic things like this, you don't have to be with them. You can choose to be with someone else. Or be alone. Explore your options. <laughs> yeah, they, someone, someone, your soulmate. This is a masculine. He's abundant in life. He may be taking some type of action to come and give to you. This is someone that participated in this low vibrational activity. He wants to come and share with you, hoping that this will kind of mend things. This person needs to tell you the truth. You need to ask questions when they come towards you. Don't just let someone 
beat around the bush just because they give you some type of resource or whatever it is they still need to be upfront with you like what role did you play okay yeah someone was working with a freaking queen of wands someone was working with a queen of wands for some of you this masculine is married to this queen of wands absolutely yeah there's a whole lot of characters in here a whole lot of characters in here too many we have the king of swords we have the king of cups the empress the queen of swords the queen of wands it's too many people in here and they all had some type of motive they were in some type of collaboration even though they were in a collaboration, some of them had their own motives for what, why they were doing the things they were doing against you. And I'm telling you, higher level soulmate, higher level soulmate, higher level soulmate. Something you had with another person, your twin is over with. They're having to count their loss and you are being partnered up with a higher level soulmate. There's something someone did that is unforgivable or unforgettable, something like that. By the standards of the universe, they say, hey, we know you're saying you're sorry, but you still have to pay this karma. So in this lifetime, you and your soul twin will not be getting together because um, you did not support them. I keep hearing someone saying, is that someone when your soul twin was going up against you, that so you called to your ancestors and said, hey, uh, this is what they're up to. They're betraying me. And your ancestors were looking like, what in the world? That is not why we sent you down there. We didn't put you in this person's life to betray them. The, um, okay. We're going to let you dig this hole for yourself. And they did. And the very thought of you being with someone else is hunting whoever this soulmate is. It's hunting. It is hunting them. Yeah. It is hunting them. So people know they can trust you, what you're saying. It's like there is something where it's like you were just painted in the opposite of what you were. It's that like you are this and they wanted people to see you as this. But you're being seen in the upright. You're someone that's divine. You are actually intuitive, right? And you do what's right. You don't misuse your gifts and things like that. You don't tap into energies that you're not meant to. You're not, you don't tap into realms that you're not meant to. Because typing in, tapping into someone's life, that's another realm that you're not supposed to have access to without their permission. So you don't tap into things that you don't have any business doing. So you're someone that's in the upright. You're extremely intelligent, very family oriented. You could be like a teacher. You teach spirituality or you teach people how to heal. You're good with your words and things like that, but in the right way, right? You see things that other people don't see. You have this way of knowing what's going to happen and other people don't. And so if you speak on it, then they think you're crazy. This is part of the reason why high priestesses keep everything to themselves until the right time comes. Because people that don't resonate on this frequency, they will always think that you're crazy. You're making things up. You don't know what you're talking about. You have ulterior motives. You're weird. You're crazy. Just all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. And a lot of the times they don't realize it's just because they don't resonate on this frequency. So they don't know what you know. So they'll say that you're a liar. You're, you're, you don't know what you're talking about. As I mentioned earlier, you're crazy. You're delusional. You have mental illness and things like that. Especially if you don't, you're not someone that looks like a high priestess. You don't carry yourself as a high priestess. People will say you have mental illness. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you have a new beginning coming in. 
Someone is going to present you with a new opportunity. You have a new beginning in life, in love. New opportunities coming towards you that you cannot imagine. Your gifts, some of you that have gifts, you're going to be succeeding in life with those. Okay? You are someone that has done the work to heal. You are highly educated. You know things other people don't know because you have put in the work. You've acquired knowledge a lot through experience. So you're not just someone that preaches, but you actually have lived the things that you preach. You practice what you preach, right? You're going to be partnering up. This is a freaking powerful connection. You have the temperance and the high priestess. These are two people that are gifted. Balance. Oh my gosh. No wonder people have been trying to block this union. You two are extremely gifted. Dangerous in a way, but not in the bad way. It's like before people even come to you with nonsense, you already know what it is. You can see people and just know their story, what they've been through. You two are going to be manifesting some type of new reality. Wow. But there's absolutely some type of new newness new life new opportunities just something new that's coming towards you high priestess you may end up working with your soulmate or maybe you even work with them now and you don't know it for some of you but you two are going to be having some type of new new life together you may end up opening a new business just something yeah absolutely you two are going through a healing process you two are going to manifest some type of new reality where you'll be able to help people heal. Heal from emotional blockages. Help them understand their emotions. Understand their limitations. Because overall, that's part by that. Overall, that's basically why we incarnate is to understand how to balance our emotions and how to understand our limitations, work off our karma, and ascend. It's really that simple, but we have rock rats among us, rascals among us that are here to make things difficult. And I guess maybe the consoles put these types of people in our path to kind of add a little bit of sauce to what we have to go through. And it's only there to wisen us up. And if we are not aware, this is how we end up falling into these situations, right? Where then we have to keep incarnating and having to learn the same lessons over and over and over and over. But by doing it, having to do it over and over, you're acquiring generational curses that you're just passing down to the next generation. And if they don't understand what's going on either, they're just passing it on. So it's like an endless cycle. But you are, you two are going to be helping people heal. It's what I just heard together. This is something people are going to appreciate. And this new beginning is going to help you to recover as well. You to find balance in your life because people have taken a lot from you two. You two could be like mirroring the same situation. Yeah. And someone is stuck in their mind about this. Someone is stuck in their mind. Someone wants your either your soul twin or you to be trapped in your mind about this love connection, but it's not happening. It's like someone wants you to be stuck in your mind, but they're the ones stuck in their mind. It's like someone is in some type of self-imposed mental imprisonment, and the only way out of there, the only person that can get them out of there is them, no one else. And the reason that is, is because they don't know how to let go. For someone out here, your soul twin has some type of relationship going on with a toxic Jizzy Bell. He's either in love with her and with you at the same time, but he cannot have both. That is not the kind of duality that is being promoted in this new age. So they will either have to stick with the karmic or pick you, one or the other. But they've been told that they cannot have both. That is crazy. And something like that, if someone is someone is so broken that they think they can have a karmic and a star seat at the same time, you should that should let you know, star seat, that that person is still toxic. Because people with common sense and people that have healed, 
they know how to drop those karmic connections like that. There's no if, ands, or buts, buts about it, right? They know how to drop them and keep it pushing because you know that person is not good for you. This is a karma that a masculine is going through and he doesn't realize it. He's been struggling and battling with this same Jesse Bell energy for multiple lifetimes. And every lifetime, this same energy comes and binds herself to him and he gets trapped with her and he doesn't realize it. This is someone that has been going through this multiple lifetimes. Three lifetimes, I'm hearing. Three lifetimes, this woman has been binding herself to him and he has failed every lifetime. This That's karma. You are not going to just let go of your karma. You have to learn the lesson. And until he learns the lesson and accept that this is an energy that he needs to let go of and walk away, like wash his hands off of it, he's going to keep repeating this karma until he learns the lesson. Someone is like so burdened, just burdened about you receiving this offer. It's like, no. Yeah, he needs to keep his distance. I'm telling you, this person has been incarnating a few lifetimes and repeating this nonsense with this woman. This is a Jesse Bell energy that's attached to him. She's uses, she uses magic every lifetime to trap him with her. They get married. He doesn't understand why he can't leave the marriage. He's not happy. It's extremely toxic. They're not happy with one another. They're arguing all the time. And he wants to leave, but he does not understand why he cannot leave. It's a Jizzy Bell energy. She's karmic. Karmic. Yeah, someone is literally trapped in their mind about this offer coming towards you. Whoever this person is, is now keeping their distance from them. Okay? I see you for who you are. This is what you were doing. You told me you were this person's friend. So they're keeping their distance from this person. Say, so I don't want to be around you. You lied to me. You lied. You, 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 someone took this to be like some type of joke. Like everything they were doing, they thought you were playing a game with them only to realize you are not playing a game with anyone. It has gotten serious. It is serious. So someone could be stepping up to do the right thing, right thing for you. Whatever this is, it's the queen of cups here in the reverse. Yeah, <laughs> someone is keeping their distance from a Queen of Cups in the reverse, basically. You say, what? No, this is what you've been up to, and she's going through her ending, honey. I can't, I can't make this stuff up. Someone thought they were going to keep walking around with a facade, pretending to be something they're not, fathering a negative narrative about someone else, right? Smearing someone's character, pretending to be someone's friends friend who had their best interest at heart, but they didn't. And now that this masculine has found the truth out, he's absolutely staying away from her because he knows she's not genuine. This is not someone loving. This is someone that plays mental games and emotional games. They play on people's hearts and their emotions and things like that. And this has led to some type of fall from grace for her. It's a rude awakening. She never thought that she was going to get found out. This woman was going to drag this thing out for as long as possible. She was going to milk it or she couldn't milk, milk it anymore. Right? She was going to milk this till she could not milk it anymore. And Spirit sat back and let her do all of her little petty games. Let her get her little laugh off. So, oh, you think you're funny. You think you are ahead of the game. We're going to let you keep playing this little game with yourself. Meantime, they were prepping a new blessing for you. And this masculine didn't know that something else was being prepared for you. So even though you two are so twin, they're like, nah, we don't care about all of that. You didn't fulfill your end of the bargain. So this person gets to move on to a higher level soulmate. Right? And you two are the same. Very sharp with it. 
articulate, very intellectual, straight to the point, but not malicious. You two are the same. Someone has fallen from grace. They cannot pretend to be what they're not anymore. And this is a queen of cups in the reverse. It's a queen of wands. That has, all of these people have fallen from grace. Let's just put it that way. They have fallen from grace. They cannot get back up. They did too much. Too much. Too much. People did unnecessary things. Unnecessary. They took unnecessary actions against people, other people. And this is because you, you all collective, your light bothered the demons within these people. Some of these people were participating in things they didn't even understand. They didn't know what they were doing. But because they had known their friend for 10 years or something like that, they went along with it. People were paid to lie and they knew they were telling lies, but they went along with it. The money was too good. Oh, you're going to pay me $2,000 just to tell a lie? You're going to pay me $2,000 just to stay away from someone? Oh, I would absolutely do it. Not realizing the whole time they were binding themselves to that contract. And now they have to work their karma off. And the karma is, you are not for sale. You should not. Thou shall not accept bribery to carry out any malicious plan against someone else. I always wonder, why is it that when someone, and this is just how my mind works. If someone approaches you and offers you money to betray someone, lie on someone, deceive someone, why don't you just take the money and go on your way? You say, oh, so since you have money, free money to give, <laughs> thank you. Why don't people just do that? Like, they can't do anything. Because first of all, they're the one bribing you. What are they going to say to the police? I, I paid them $2,000 to lie on someone and they took my money and ran with it. Why don't people think that way? I don't know. I've always wondered, I'm like, why don't people just take the money and go? Like, I'll just take your money and disappear. Since you think you're cunning, I'll be cunning with you. But not in the way you think I'm going to be cunning. I'm never going to accept any money to cause havoc in someone else's life. What I will do, I will take your money and disappear since you want to be a cunt. Since you want to be malicious, I'll show you what malicious, malicious, uh, malicious, maliciousness is. Laura can't even get the word out because it does not resonate with my soul. It does not resonate with my soul. Being malicious is not my thing. But if I have someone that's determined to get me to act out of character to that magnitude, you best believe I'm going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Oh, you have $40,000. Oh, my honey. In this lifetime, I have not seen the $40,000 check before. So I beg, you want to give me $40,000 to what? Uh, no problem. Take your money and disappear. Source, what is your advice for us today? What do you want us to be aware of, to keep in mind? Okay, eight. Oh, that's a beautiful number. Let's see. I love that. Eight, eight, eight. Ooh, it says, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I am abundant. We clean that. Well, thank you folks for watching. We will see you next. I will see you in the next reading. Thank you for supporting and stay blessed as always. Goodbye for now.